Hey everybody, I'm Lauren Chatama and my company is Intentional Acting and I'm hired by working actors who are getting passed over and they don't know why, but what they want is to build a reputation of being an in-demand actor. So if that's you, that's who these acting tips are for, is to help you find out what's missing so that you can fix it. Well today I'm going to talk about the three ways that an actor gets derailed in their script analysis. So you get the script, it's handed to you, you're reading it, and this is where actors get derailed. Already! Where? What happens? What happens is they start to form an opinion on the script, or they start to form an opinion about this character. And then, while they're forming this opinion, they're building up all these ideas, and they're building the barriers between them and the other character. And the third thing that an actor does that derails them from good script analysis is worrying about the results and thinking about what are the results? What is that casting looking for? And I better, should I do it like this or should I do it like that? Instead of let's just read the script, take and digest it and breathe it in. This is something I'm really looking at right now, which is we rush through things. We rush through meals. We're so used to everything being super, super fast. And that when we read these scripts, we, the, we, and what I see over and over again is that actors just rush through them, make quick decisions, and these very quick decisions are based on opinions. So I know there are some times when you do have to make some quick decisions. Maybe you have a two minute, you have two minutes, they hand you a script, and they say, you know what, I think you're really right for this part. Go and come back in five minutes. And then they actually give you two. And so in those two minutes, you've already, you're basically kind of panicking. That's what always happens is our heart starts to pound. We go, I got to get this information right now. But if you have a step-by-step -step repeatable technique that's right in your pocket, when you get that script, you can start by going, okay, what's that scene about? What's the relationship? Where does it take place? And you start asking the proper questions that will trigger your brain to go in the right direction. And the, uh, the wrong direction is opinion. Well, I don't really like this script. I don't really like this character. Oh, she's a bitch. He's really uh, egotistical and he's a womanizer or he's this or she's that. And I, I well, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to play a bitch or I'm gonna play angry or I'm gonna play a flirt or I'm gonna, I'll just play it as angry or um, I said angry twice because that one's used a lot and that's not a choice. That's not how you play something, okay? Those are opinions, thoughts, feelings, all right? And that's where I leave that is in one of my eight keys of intentional script analysis is process your feelings. And this is a make it or break it for a lot of actors. I've seen it make actors and break actors when they don't process their own feelings on the material, okay? And so, and that is a separate thing from script analysis, completely right? You handle those feelings, you think about how you, you, but now it's about reading the script and going, okay, the, what are the relationships? And what are the, what's the intention of this character? And what is the scene really about? Where is, what's the conflict in the scene? What is this character fighting for? Are they getting it? Um, why are they fighting for this? Why does she have to have it right now in this moment, right? So it's asking these kind of specific questions versus go making an opinion and getting lost in that. And the results part is where we start thinking about what is it going to, what it's got to look like this, or it's got to feel like this, or um, I want it to be, I want my performance to be this, or I want them to see me this way. Like when you've made decisions ahead of doing the scene, you are now into results and you're into your own agenda. And that's not what they're interested in seeing. What casting wants to see is they want to see you, yes, you, living in the situation, the circumstances of that scene, and making that believable, okay? So the three things that are gonna derail you are your opinion of the script, your opinion of the characters, and the results or the way that you think it should go, okay? And often what actors do is they're trying to, they think they, they know what casting wants, 
based on what the way that they think this should go. Okay? So when you find yourself doing these three things, forming opinions about the character, forming opinions about the script, or getting ideas, your ideas and how you want it to go, I'm going to ask you to write those down on a separate piece of paper and set them aside. Or if you're in a quick cold reading, then just notice that you're doing that. Go bingo, I'm making decisions. And Lauren has told me, wait, ask questions instead. What's the scene about? Where does this take place? What happened the month before? Get the facts, just the facts, ma'am. And then relate to them to make it personal. And if you start there, even if you only had two minutes, you are ahead of the rest of the people who are forming opinions, who are forming opinions on the story and the script, and who are trying to get in the heads of the casting and try to give them results. Because once you know what the relationships are and where this takes place and how you relate to it, then you can start to get in the scene and live there. And that's what casting wants to see. So don't get derailed. And if you've gotten derailed, and I can help you, please feel free to reach out for a discovery call. It's uh, discoverintentionalacting.com. I'll put that in there. And, and if this stuff is working for you, I would love a like, a comment, a gold star. Yes, I want gold stars. <laughs> and, um, and tell us, you know, give me your ideas and your feedback and how this is working for you.